anyway, it all went well with the electrician. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to say. It's all good. We know what we need to do. So we're going to get him in next week to fix it. He has assured us that nobody's going to die from that between now and next week. Other deaths are available, obviously, but... That was not the Spice Girls, guys. That was not the Spice Girls, okay? Do you know who that was? No? No? It was Bewitched. Be Bewitched with the star. Bewitched with the star. Alright. Let's get this fucking wedding... Go <laughs> Let's get this wedding going. Where is this guy? What's Why is it taking so long? We have to wait. Three hours. Let's not miss our wedding somehow. Okay, where is he now? Oh. Okay, he's no longer walking. He's running now. I think he's late for the wedding as well. Okay, this is looking promising, boys. This is looking... What is that? Is that a shaving razor? Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Thanks so much. When is my wedding, though? Can you tell me? What do you need a shaving razor for? All right, here he comes. When's the ceremony? Congratulations on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Reports of a disturbance. Maramal. We've got numerous reports of disturbances in the graveyard area next to the temple, and we'd like you to investigate. The reports describe strange noises described as stone grating on stone and shadowy figures moving about the mausoleum. I've sent a guard to investigate, but they've come up empty-handed. We've already spoken to Alessandra, but she assures me that these odd reports have nothing to do with any rituals of RK she might be performing. Any help you could render would certainly be appreciated. Anuriel, steward of Riften. <laughs> what a bunch of chumps. They don't even fucking know. That's my, the secret entrance to my cool Congratulations base. on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Where do I go, guys? I want to get married just as much as you guys do, but this wedding seems like it's never going to start. It's got to take place in here, right? It has to. It has to. How can the humble servant of Talos help you today? Talos what? bless you, my child. What happened to your what happened to your daughter? I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer to one day tend the shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the White Gold Concordat, she ran off to join the Stormcloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? Nice. She died out there. No. Only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. She still did it, we though. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. Do you want me to find it? No. Okay. What can you tell me about Talos? You know what? I know everything I need to know about Mr. T. It's nice to Talos find a like-minded individual out here. Let me take my blessing on this day. And let's also leave a honey nut treat for Mr. T here. Excuse me. Blessings of Talos upon you. This is my... What are you doing that for? It's my offering to Mr. T. It's a honey nut treat. Don't you dare eat it. You know what's going to happen if you do. Alright. Now let's get hitched. What's, what's the fucking hold up here? Maybe it's going to happen at 5 o'clock. It seems reasonable that it would happen at 5 o'clock, right? Good day, friend. Keep what? well. What the fuck? Lead on. Get out of the way. Okay. Are we ready? You know what? It looks like we're going to get married in here. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Okay, I'm ready to get married. Congratulations on your wedding. I am so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. You need to wait longer to get the wedding to start. Can't remember how long. Congratulations on Maybe the quest you. log mentions so it. Okay, got it. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for Anything both. Anything else? Actually, what do you need? Sit here. Okay, got it. Nice. 
You can. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy Anything for both Anything else? No. Stay seated. We're waiting for the we're waiting for the bride to come in now. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for This both is it, guys. This is where it all happens. Soon. You have to wait 24 hours. What? He said it was today. He said it was today. I'm not waiting 24 hours. I'm willing to wait another four hours. Congratulations on your wedding. Fine. Another 12 hours it is then. We're so nervous that we can't even sleep, so we're just standing here waiting for the wedding. I am so happy for both of you. <laughs> Congratulations Wait. on your wedding. Oh! Okay. Mara that first gave birth to all of creation. Now kiss the bride. It is from her love of us that we first learn to love one another. Oh my god. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. Oscar's here too. Oh shit. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Look at her. May they journey forth together in this life. And in the next, oh, prosperity yeah. and poverty, and in joy. Oh, this is the hardship. best. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? I do. Oh. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? Uh, stop the wedding! I can't go through with this! I do. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple. To be wed, I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. Wow. May they protect each of you in your new life together. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always stay with me. How about my house in Falkreath? Our new home. I'll see you there. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both. Wow, that was fantastic. Holy crap. Look at old Hogansky here, just looking the part too with his special wedding tiara on. I don't, who the hell is this guy? Perth. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Who invited Perth to the wedding? I understand you, but who's Perth? And who said that you were allowed to come? Excuse me. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Oh, wait a second. Is this because we said that we weren't racist to her in Windhelm and she's our friend now? I noticed that it's only our friends here, but who the fuck is this? Who's Perth? Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. What the shit is Perth? Who said you could eat at my wedding? Uthgard's getting fucking plastered right now, too. Oh, that's awesome. That is so good. Okay, where's my where's my wedding ring? Which one is it? The match. He said we got matching rings. I want to see how much it's worth. Is it this? The silver ruby ring? It's got to be this one, right? Silver blood family. No, it's not this one. Weapons and armor can be improved 15% better. Oh, the bond of matrimony. Restoration spells cost 10% less to cast. 496 bucks it's worth. Holy shitballs. That is fantastic. All right, Lucan, it's time to go on our stag do. Camilla, get back to the house. I'm gonna need a sweet roll when I get back, stat. Oh God, it feels good to be married. Holy shit, this is great. All right, everybody, party's over, <laughs> party's over. Party's over, now it's time to get back to, okay, we have to build our bedroom now. We have to build a bedroom for our new lady wife. Camille, <laughs> we have to do it. 
We're gonna we're gonna not have the arcane tower. We'll make the arcane tower at a different location, I think, instead. Save Eric. What do you mean, save Eric? Oh shit. Eric is stuck in Riften. Hold up a second. Hold up one second. Let me go back and get Eric. I forgot to I forgot to bring him with me. He's just gonna be stuck sitting on that bench forever now. The Falmer are twisted. Wait, have I seen a Falmer before? I have many questions all of a sudden. Many questions indeed. Oh, I can't believe that we're married. I can't believe that we married Camilla as well. She's such a feisty it just feels right somehow. Great, let's go. All right, Eric. Good job. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. God, you spent the whole night there under my orders. That's how loyal Eric is. God, he's so good. One of the best. He's dead. Eric is, of course, lost. Yeah, that's about right. Hey, uh, Benga and Barsa, thanks so much for the donations. I appreciate it. Chive11, thanks for the donation as well. Thanks for all the nice wedding gifts. Very nice. Weird out, I guess. Bitch, that sweet roll better be ready. Alright, I don't care how... She's like that one from Vikings. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It's back. Nice. Congrats to the real American couple. I hope you got pre -nom. When I got engaged, <laughs> I got sent a with deepest sympathy card that just said mate inside. Just said R.I.P. mate. I don't know why the TTS decided to cancel that out, Krelly, but... Yeah. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Even more violent than Uthgur. What kind of lame-ass mining is this? We're all about chilling on this stream. That's all we like to do. We like to have a good, old-fashioned chill. That's why we're doing it like that, okay? Alright, we're gonna have to store some of this stuff in here. A curious silver mold. Some hides. No, none of this stuff. Gold ore. Yes. Porker tusks. Leather strips. Two loots. Petty soul gem. Plate. Look at all the stolen stuff we got here. Holy crap. Silver ore from our time in, um, what's, whatchamacallit? You remember that time that we spent in whatchamacallit? Okay, drafting table. We want to have, uh, the trophy room? No. No. We want to have... An addition of the West Wing bedrooms. Okay, we, it means we can't have the Enchanter's Tower, sadly. Oh my god. Camilla? There's a bear attacking our, our house. I'll take it out, don't worry. Eric's got it. Oh my god. What a scene. Alright, crisis averted, everybody. It's fine. Alright. Um, do we want to have an animal pen? Do we want an apiary? Do we want a grindstone? Bedrooms, doors, here it is, the house part. We're gonna need three locks, six hinges, six nails, and three iron fittings. Fuck. That's nuts. Alright, we're gonna have to smelt up a bunch here of Here is stuff. a small wedding present. 
The ceremony was beautiful and I was happy to be a part of it. Oh, thanks so much, Batdan554 for the 50 bucks. Fuck me. Thanks, you, you did a great job as best man. You were represented in game as Perth. Who <laughs> we You did a good job, man. You did a really good job. Half a hundo. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. That's really nice of you. Why are there fox pelts and goat hides in here? I don't want any of this crap in here. Okay. We have to do some smelting now. We need to make some corundum. Perfect. Three locks we need. What the hell? Oh yeah, this is the wolf. This was the wolf that my wife slew. She slew this wolf right in front of our very eyes. All right, three locks. Three locks. What else do we I need? really did make a damn good flower girl. Oh, yeah, you did. You did the biggie, ch the biggie ching mcding ding. Thanks for the 15 bucks, man. It's super generous. Thank you so much. Okay. So, we still need three iron fittings, six hinges, and six nails. I think I have some nails in here, actually. Let me just check the nails. Three iron fittings. Six hinges. And nails. Bedroom doors. Okay, bedroom foundations. Ten quarried stone. No problem. Quarried stone. We're gonna have to do some mining. Great. We could go adopt Blaze after this, guys. We're gonna have enough room. Blaze can come and live with us and blaze it up. <laughs> it can blaze, blaze it up inside our house. Oh man, we should definitely do that. We gotta fill our house with all sorts of people. Bedroom wall supports. Just need some nails. No more nails! Mr. Sips, why did you leave your bathrobe open when you answered the door to me? It made me feel so uncomfortable <laughs> that I almost couldn't swallow your whole load. Hope I fixed your wiring, big boy. Thanks, the electrician. I appreciate that. Thanks for fixing my wiring. Three clay. Three clay. Let's see. Only one clay required now. Oh, also, Sips, what happened to Barbus? I usually put your VODs on when I'm crashing, and the last thing I remember from yesterday's stream was you were clueless as to where Barbus went. We took him back. We returned him to his master. The Biggie Mc McChingding. Thanks so much again for the donation, man. He's back. He's back where he belongs. Not, not bugging me. Bedroom walls have been added. Are we good? Do we want to have a garden? Do we want to have a stable? Do we want an armor or workbench? Do we want an animal pen? Fuck yeah! All of the above! <laughs> wow! This is crazy! Okay, what are we... Okay, let's grow some um, flowers in here. Let's grow some lavender. Item planted. Whoa. <laughs> let's grow some thistle branch. Whoa. Some tundra cotton. Whoa. More tundra cotton? Oh, yeah. Baby. Red mountain flower. Jazz Bay grapes. Blue mountain flower. 
A death bell. Another death bell that we stole. A purple mountain flower. Oh, man. And another thistle branch. Okay. Now we just watch the garden grow, baby. Now we have a stable as well for our horse who is not here. Don't know where he is. This 10 pounds was crowdfunded by Twitch chat. Hey, thanks Twitch chat. Appreciate it. Thanks very much for all the nice donations, everybody. I appreciate that. Really nice. Really nice of you guys. The best, in fact. Okay. So the bedroom's done. And also, we have an animal pen out here. We have some chickens that may or may not lay eggs. Oh, we have a fucking... Ah! We have a tanning rack here now, too. Okay, let's make some leather, shall we? That's a lot of leather. That's a whole lot of leather. Oh, God. This house is really starting to come together now. Holy crapoli. All right, Camilla. You should be happy now. We have a bedroom. Sadly, still no bed. This is the stuff. Alright, Uthgard. Where are you? Wait. Where is Uthgard? And Uthgard? Oh, she ha- WAIT! She's doing it, guys! We got an arcane enchanter! Fuck! Oh, this is perfect! Okay. I think we disenchant um, some of this stuff. Like, oh, these boots are so good, aren't they? Weapons and armor can be improved 15% better. I think we just leave that on there for when we do some smithing, right? I think that that's fine. She started to decorate the upstairs and... Oh! You're someone who can get things done. Yes. I like that. I'd like you to buy some more furnishings. Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? Oh, Uthgard. The bedroom. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Thanks so much once again. Oh, Good. man, she's over. doing a fucking sterling job as our house steward. Have you ever seen anything like it? She is the best. Holy crapoli. Do we still have space in the library? Yeah, hell yeah, we do. <laughs> do we still have space in the library? Oh, okay. We have to, um... Wait, no. Old Hogan's books. Oh, okay, here we go. We're gonna store... Not these notes, or these journals. Nords Arise, I like that one. Okay, hold up a second. We don't want these dumb notes don't in Don't get here. too far ahead. I think there's another note, like, in here. No, there's not, okay. Old Hogan. Perfect. Okay, some of these some of these books are stolen, so it's good to actually have them in here. It's good to have them in here, for sure, right? Good books. All all the books. We're not learning any magic, by the way, guys. Not a single magical spell will be learned in this playthrough, okay? Except for maybe that muffle one, which seemed kind of good. Everybody seems to be going on and on about that one. Okay. This is where the notes go. Notes and journals go in there. 
the book overflow goes in there. Look at the libraries coming together real nice now. Holy crap. Look at all of our fresh kills. What Excuse me, Liluin. You're not allowed. What were we putting in the satchel? Oh yeah, ingredients. Ingredients. Okay, let's store all this stolen stuff in here too. For if we want to do some... We, we should probably get some potions pretty soon, right? Okay, so we have um, this which we want to disenchant. This which we want to disenchant. We held on to some bows for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Okay, we're carrying way too much. One-handed attacks do 20% more damage. That's nuts, actually. We can maybe give that to Eric, actually. Um, are any of these, like, enchanted? The Thieves Guild Hood. Prices are 10% better. Do we disenchant that, or do we... We're gonna get better Thieves Guild stuff anyway, right? So let's disenchant it. It'll be fine. Oh. All right, we have to do this long walk up here now. <coughs> the thieves, the actual thieves guild stuff is like pretty bad though, isn't it? Okay, let's learn this. Nice. Let's hang on to those. Um, Iron Mace of Diminishing? Yeah. Good. Iron Great Sword of Soul Snares. Yeah. Ancient Nord Sword of Frost. Yeah. Ring of Lock Picking? I wouldn't mind having the enchant actually, so I can put it on other stuff. Good. Nice. Okay. We'll hang on to that. But this one's stolen. If somebody tries to steal this back from me. No. The last Thieves Guild armor is great. Okay, you have to give Thieves Guild stuff back to get the upgrade. No, you don't. There's there's no way, right? You like the Thieves Guild? I like the Thieves Guild as well. I like the Thieves Guild stuff. Okay, chat, the question is now, because this is a stolen ring, and if I get caught by the police, they'll take this from me, should I disenchant it so that I can just do 15% more bow damage and enchant any old thing with it? Would that be good? I need to trade it in? No? You do for one upgrade, but you get better thieves armor anyway. Yes, disenchant. Yes. I feel, I feel like that's a good thing to do, right? Okay. We've learned its effect. We learned the fortify archery enchantment from destroying this item. Perfect. Now, now boys, check this out, okay? We go down here to this chest. We search the chest. We grab a silver garnet ring or a silver amethyst ring or just a silver ring. I think we take the silver amethyst ring, right? Also, we equip on ourselves the um, silver blood family ring for this, right? And then we enchant, we enchant it up, baby. Okay, we're gonna do enchantment. We're gonna do an enchanting. We're gonna do it on this um, silver sapphire, silver amethyst ring. Okay, we want this item. We want fortify um, archery, and we need a soul gem. Yeah. Okay, we'll go get a grand soul gem. We'll make this ring like fucking awesome. Okay, it's gonna be in insane. It's gonna be the best one we've ever had. Okay, we're going big. Where's the grand soul gem? The greater soul gem. That's the best one we have. Okay, let's take this one. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it was the um, silver amethyst ring. Oh shit, do I need to fill it up? I need to fill it up. I, I gotta fill up this soul gem, guys. Do I not have any filled soul gems anywhere? It's empty. Oh, this one's filled with a lesser soul. Son of a bitch. Okay, check it out. Check this out, guys. I got a better idea, okay? Okay. Oh, I think I'm... No, hang on, I'm not. Okay, check this out instead. 
Forsworn bow, right? Or dwarven bow? Dwarven bow. I think we're going dwarven bow. We're gonna stick with the... Stick with what we're... Okay, check it out. Check this out. We're gonna do... Um, we're gonna do a dwarven bow with the soul trap one and we're gonna use this soul gem yes okay we enchanted our own bow now okay where is it uh, dwarven bow if a target dies within four seconds, fills a soul gem. Perfect. I think this one we could just sell or like disenchant. Creatures and people up to level seven flee from combat. That's stupid. Like I don't even want. I'm just gonna sell this one. I'm just gonna sell it. Okay. All right. So now we can fill up the soul gem. Perfect. Okay. Let's put all the enchanting stuff back, and then we'll come back and we'll enchant this stuff after, because now we have the thing, right? Good. Okay, so in Misk, we want to put in our soul gems. Actually, these greater soul gems will carry around with us. Petty soul gem we can store. We want the greater soul gems to be filled. We need to we need to fill them with some greater souls, right? Right? Wrong. Okay. Let's store this amulet of RK and the amulet of no. The Amulet of Mara. We don't need to carry this around anymore. We don't need the Circulate of Illusion anymore either. Fine boots. Fine clothes. Hooded black mage robes. What the hell? Necromancer robes? I mean, some of the stuff we could just sell, right? Novice robes of conjuration. We're never going to need that. Okay, pickpocket success is 15% better. Good. Scaled boots of... Okay, we want those. Um... All these necklaces and rings and stuff we'll hang on to just for enchanting stuff later. We've got the Thieves Guild hood um, that we can just leave behind now as well because we don't need it. Boots, we don't need either. Gloves and armor we'll hang on to. We've got our Bond of Matrimony here as well that we'll just store it here. <laughs> we'll just store it in here because, you know, come on now. Okay, and all this other stuff will sell. Perfect. All right. Let's put our, our proper stuff back on. Wait, I actually need a ring now, don't I? Because I lost my other ring because I disenchanted it. Ring of Minor Deft Hands. I think that's probably going to be the one, right? I mean, I could wear the Band of Matrimony, but it doesn't do me any good. So we'll wear this one. And then we'll hang on to this one for when we do our thing later, right? Which one was it? It was the silver... Old Hogan. Silver Blood f Family Ring. Okay, we'll store that here as well. Okay. We're almost done here, boys. Sorry. We've been out for a while. We have to, like, store all of our wine and stuff. No, I don't want to take this. No. I want to store food. Look at all this wine we've got. Holy crap. We have so much wine, it's insane. Alright. Yes? Just a couple Yes? Just a couple more things to do here and then we can go, okay. We wanna store um amethyst. Yes. Hang on a second. Misk. Clay? No, 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 no. We'll sell these. Drums and stuff. Greater soul gem, horker tusk. This jug can be sold. We have a whole bunch of leather in here now as well. Meridia's bacon, we need that. Nails, uh, all this stuff. Plate, we'll sell. Quarried stone, ruined book, we'll sell. Stone of Varenzaya. We have to hang on to all of these, apparently. Okay, good. Now, all we gotta do is... See you later, we're going out on another adventure now, Camilla. We'll be back later, okay? Promise. Alright. Now we just gotta store all of this crafting stuff in here, and then, bam, bam, we should be good. We should be good. All the clay, all of these, 
drum, flute, goat horn. No. Leather. Yeah. Lutes. Nails. This. Quarried stone. How are we doing? Our carry weight is not not bad at all right now, actually. Look at all the look at all the extra room we have for stuff. Mm. Perfect. Alright. Let's go visit the fence. So that we can sell some of this stuff. And then we can go do something else. Could I make a baby with the wife? I don't know if you can. Chat, can you make a baby with your own baby or do you have to adopt kids? Can I implant a baby inside of Camilla? Interest you in some marksmanry? No, I don't need any actually. I'm good. Got all the marksman training I'll ever need. All of it. No. You have to adopt unless you mod. There's a mod for it, but it's a bit too hot for Twitch. <laughs> of course. I mean, most Skyrim mods are a bit too hot for Twitch, right? If you're looking for extra work, why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Hands off the merchandise. Okay. Old Hogan would like to sell to you today. Four drums, five flutes, one set of goat horns, also a jug and two lutes and a plate and a rune book and possibly a scroll or two. Look at all these. Scrolls are worth a fortune. We're going to make all the money back. We got 6,130 gold, boy. Nice. We're rich. Mm -hmm. We're rich. Hallelujah. We're so rich. Woo. Okay, that's all the stolen stuff sold now. So now if we get um, arrested, we don't have to worry about losing any of our cool stuff, right? Something I can help with? What in the name of... Okay. Need something? What's next, though, boys? Where do we want to go next? What do we want to work on next? The Book of Love. You know what? I like this one. Let's go talk to Calcimo. Calcelmo. We know exactly where this guy is as well. He's on the other side of the planet. He's all the way over here at Understone Keep. He's the old man. Let's see who he's in love with and convince him to love someone else. Smithers. <gasps> Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guards. The vampire hunters or something. Your best defense is a good defense. Am I right? What's going on out here? Why oh, are there so many guards? There's like a million guards here. Staying out of trouble. Staying out of... He's called me Kinsman. They love me in Markarth right now. They're not going to love me when I restore Markarth and the entire reach to the Nords, though. That's the master plan. That's what Sips, we're going who for. did you study under to become such a hilarious bastard? Who did I study under I to, to become wonder. such a the biggie the Mc ching mc ding ding? Like it's all me, baby. I'm just a just a weird guy. I'm a real weird weird dude. Calcimo? I have things to study. What is it? I've been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Who are you in ah, love with? Uh, you see. I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? No. Well, suffice to say she is resplendent, but not without resolve. Striking in all senses. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. <sighs> I could never hope to approach her. Fuck, seriously? You're probably overthinking this. That may be the case. But she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. Is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one. Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type. But they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. All right. <laughs> I love this. I love this relationship counseling service that I'm providing to all of the people of Skyrim. This quest line is amazing. 
I wonder where it ends though. I wonder if I can have more than one white. More than one white. Is this possible? Come on, it's gotta be. If you worship Talos, you should be able to have more than one wife. Am I right? I feel like I'm right. I feel like I should ha be able to have a couple of wives. If I take their ring, or if I give them a ring, then they're There's my wife a small now, right? Then just east of the city and reach what Blood and silver, friend. Blood and silver. I've heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Um, it's not for me, it's for God. <laughs> I'd rather not say. Ah, a secret admirer, eh? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. Okay, good, thanks. As for what she might like. Right. I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. No way. You no, know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems right. come in handy when wooing. Okay. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. Right. I can change it to be about Feline if you've got some gold. How much are we talking here? Are you here? prepared to receive my golden words? Sure. Uh, that seems like a lot of money. I'll buy it. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. Okay. You should probably just let Feline read it herself. Don't want you stumbling over the words and ruining my flow. Okay, sure. 200 bucks we just spent on this relationship counseling, but you know what? For the sake of love, I think it's worth it. I think... I think I it's... don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Me neither, Junkie Vomit. Thanks so much for the, uh, you for the bits. That orc over and There's an orc in Understone Keep that can forge me some new armor? Oh yeah, of course. We talked to her already. She wants that book, remember? Travel southeast and you'll find an orc stronghold. She wants a book. I don't know where we're gonna get that book. I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Feline! As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. There is no fucking way this is happening. Igman's father was killed by Forsworn. I, I have a poem I'd like you to read. <laughs> Pardon me? It's from Kelsimo, please. I'm not sure what this is all about. Okay, we'll take it anyway. This is lovely. <laughs> Kelsalmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. Clearly, I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see what this says. Dear Calcimo, you're too old. My dearest Calcimo, I always knew you to, you to possess a great mind, but your charming poem revealed a depth of feeling I never suspected. I'll admit to being a bit surprised at the direction of your feelings, but not unpleasantly so. Let us meet to discuss further. Whoo! That's pretty steamy. Oh, man. Damn. Calcimo, you old dog. You old dog. I hope that- I hope she doesn't ask you to write another poem, though. I'm not made of money, by the way. You're just gonna have to- you're just gonna have to lie through your... disgusting wooden teeth. I have- the artifact the I've discovered man. in Nashuanzel will make history one day. Right, listen, I have a letter from Feline here for you. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please, excuse me. What? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, he's running. Oh my god, this is exciting as hell. Here we go. Check it out. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god. Maybe he's gonna recite some really bad poetry to her. Look at this. Holy shit. I've never seen an old man run so fast. It just shows us men. We can't resist a bit of booty. Well, he, I... Shh. It's alright. You don't need to say anything. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. Oh! So I hear. 
come here. The Thalmor know how to deal with talents worshippers. Man, you guys are the worst. <laughs> My balls are all if swollen and blue right now. God damn. <laughs> God, I thought that they were going to get it on. There's got to be a mod that changes these quests so that they actually get it on, right? No? <laughs> That's it. We have to go back to Dinny, Dinny Baloo now. <laughs> oh, we got to go tell Dinny Baloo that it's all done. Calcimo and this red hot mama have hooked up. I could have claimed it to, m to be mine own, but I didn't. I didn't. Hello, Sips. Hey. You bastard. Hey. You've made me start playing Skyrim again. Oh, it's so Now good. I'm going to sink another 250 hours into this damn game. <laughs> Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Yeah, that's I blame you and hate you. I remain. Strangle throat. Oh, strangle throat. Thanks so much, man. More people should sign their uh, TTS things so that I know who they are. Then I don't, <laughs> I don't have to move my head slightly to one side to read something. You know what I'm saying? All right, Dinny Baloo. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I help the forlorn lovers in Markarth. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth, and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Me and Camilla? Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Okay. All right. Dawn. We have to put on the amulet of Mara. Surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all blessings of Mara upon you. We have to talk to the long dead lover. Oh, we're gonna have to talk to a ghost, I think. Where is she? Or he? What? All right. To the swindler's den we go once again. We're going to talk to a ghost lover. Nice. It's going to be like that um, scene from Ghostbusters where Ray's pants are unzipped by a ghost. You fucking stole that kill from me. You stole that. You stole that kill from me. Nord meat, yes, please. Oh, shit. God damn. My love, this when, is your wife. When you watch Why it. don't you come home? I can suck starter Harley, so why don't we take it for a drive? Also, the bathroom upstairs is leaking and there's water coming out of a switch downstairs. Oh. Please call a plumber and not an electrician. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> It was the electrician, the elect- Hold up a second. Is that a shrine to Mr. T? Whoops. I thought I- I think there's a shrine to Mr. T out here. Oh no, it's not. It just looked like one. Ew. Oh my god. The size of this thing is disgusting. What is this a shrine to? A shrine of Zenithar. What the hell? We don't recognize this one. So we're going to take all of the offerings and not leave one as well. We're dissing the gods here. We're dissing the gods, the gods big time. Alright. Let's see. Where is this long dead lover? It's not the statue with the flag on it, is it? I wonder if this is going to be really spooky. We'll have to see. <laughs> Good hiding, Eric. 
Your camouflage is perfect. Holy crap. That's really good. Really good hiding. Oh, I see it is a ghost. Oh, this is cool. We get to talk to a ghost. Hello, Rookie. What are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you, men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over everybody, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. Okay. Uh, the last battle here was hundreds of years ago. Are you a fool? <laughs> look at the bodies around you. Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Come, help me search for Fenrir. Fen he must be here somewhere. All right, all right, we'll find him. Don't worry. Are you are you gonna start looking, or is it just me who has to look around for fuck's sake? Fuck. You know, I always have to fucking do everything. She could at least help a little tiny bit. No. I like capturing a soul. Okay, this greater soul gem has only captured a petty soul, though. How do I release it? We have to kill something big. We have to kill something big. Wait, if I capture lots of petty souls, though, will they turn into... Is that... Giants are greater. Oh, okay. I can find a giant, no problem. Okay, don't worry. I got this. There's no like... You can't like accumulate souls. No. It just sorts the souls. There's a mod. Use that gem. <laughs> Use it. On what? On my bow? To recharge my bow? Oh, this guy is all the way over here for fuck's sake. She's looking in the wrong spot. Okay, giants, you say. There was one down here before, wasn't there? I have to get the last hit on him, though. Fuck, he's gotta die within four seconds. We can't kill a giant in four seconds. Kill a giant in four seconds, though. No? Take all gems and fill it with them from lowest to highest based on soul size. Oh, I, so I can do that. I see. Okay, so don't just take a greater soul gem. Just take all the gems and then fill them all up. It'll, it'll fill them up properly, I guess, right? The mammoth over there will work for my souls. Well, I, I don't think I'd kill a mammoth in four seconds either. I think the enchant on my bow is not not it's not good enough we have to find like a filled gem okay hold up okay thanks for leaving the door open for me that's good fuck's sake you're someone who can get things done i like that good start athgard good fucking start how's it looking whoa holy shit it's all coming together now boys look at this fuck she Don't even left us a ahead. gourd! Oh, that's nice. God damn, that's nice. She hasn't done anything in here yet, though. Alright, we're happy about all of this. Okay, hold up a second. So, I have to take all of the soul gems with me. Gotcha. Some of these are stolen, though. Is there some way that we can launder our soul gems? Or not really? No? 
timer resets after you hit them again with the bow. Oh, that's how it works. That's how it works. Or, or is that not how it works? Dustman's Cairn. So the mammoth might work, and also the giant. Gotcha. We got this, guys. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Can't be that hard. Nothing in, in this game is that hard, right? Nothing in this game is, like, that difficult. What about, like, this moose, though? What about this gigantic moose? God damn, I like capturing souls. This is good. This is gonna make enchanting pretty damn good. Oh, I see him. There's a ghost on the road. Do, 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 do. Sips, I swear to Talos, if you don't remodel that first room into an entryway, I'll take a dump on Uptrid's <laughs> pillow. <laughs> Curly Chicken Backseat Gamer. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. How the hell did I miss all of them? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, the giant's coming for us now, too. Doesn't like the fact that they're hitting his mammoth. Hitting them hard. Eric is down. Ah! Ah! Mr. Pinchy! Help me! Eric! Oh god, Eric, get them! Oh god! I'm having this giant! I told you guys, we can't get it. Now we're dead. Now we're dead. <laughs> My God. You got this, Eric. I believe. A hole. There's another, there's another mammoth on me. Oh, run! Hey, 62 archery! Not a single soul captured. How the shit? How the shit do we do it, guys? Ah! Easy boy. Eric, don't. At ease. Mr. Pinchy, get out of the way. Son of Every time you attack with an enchanted weapon, it uses a charge. Oh. Save the charges for when the enemy is almost dead. You ran out of charges before killing the mammoth. Exo, exo, Jacob. Oh, thanks, Jacob. Thanks. Okay, so hang on a second. So... I have to just use... Guys, it's filling up these greater soul gems with petty souls. It's... it's... Okay, how do I recharge my bow? And how do I know how many charges it has as well? Charge.
Let's talk to this guy. Your wife is looking for you. Rookie? Where is she? Ten fucking miles away, west in the plains over the mountain. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. 